Hi, I'm Anna Simmons, a product manager at Okta working on identity governance. Today, I'm excited to walk you through our new multi-level access certification feature. With this feature, you'll be able to set up multiple rounds of review for your most important resources. To get started, we'll go through one of the certification campaigns I've set up that reviews a group that provides admin access to one of our applications. Let's get started. You'll see I have this new campaign set up. This is a quarterly review for our AFC Richmond team's roster admin access. And so with this campaign, you'll see right now I've defined two levels for review. So first level will be reviewers manager, second level will be that group owner. And only the approved items will be going on to the second level. So once the user's manager reviews, the approved items will go on for a second round of review from that group owner. And we've already also set it up so that I have the first level has 14 days to review of that total 21, which means the second level has the remaining seven days. Now, if I come in and edit, let's see what that setup looks like. When I go to the reviewer page, I have that first level set up as we saw. So I have that manager set up. I have myself set up as a fallback reviewer, and then I can preview the settings. My second level, I have that group owner reviewer as well with myself as backup. You'll see when I click edit, the options I have are the same that I had before. So I can set up a single user. I've already used manager above. I can set up a group to review. The owner or custom is going to be our expression language option. Now, if I select that group owner again, set myself as the backup reviewer, I'll see I've got additional settings. So this is where I can determine which items move on to the next level. Only approved decisions will, will be great when I need explicit approval from both sets of stakeholders. So I need an approve and an approve in order for someone to retain access. I also have the option to use only or to have both approved and revoked decisions move to the second level. This is helpful when the second level wants to have a context on all decisions made by the first level. So to understand who was approved, who was revoked, as well as has the authority to override them. So potentially if they know specific circumstances of why someone outside of the, uh, the manager's purview would need access. For example, if they were working on a special project, um, then they have the ability to make that final decision or they can reinforce the decision of the original reviewer. Then I can choose which day I want the second level review to begin. So because managers, it's a more disparate group of, of stakeholders, I wanna give them more time to work in their schedules to give reviews. So I've given them 14 days versus the more concentrated group owner I'm giving seven days of that total 21 to review. Then I have my notification settings. They're similar to what we have before. It's just now allowing you to set the notifications for the different time periods that the different stakeholders have access. One thing that's also exciting is we've introduced additional reminders. So before we had one reminder, we've heard from customers they want more support in, in constantly reminding the reviewers to complete their job. So we've introduced additional reminder options. As well as you'll notice, we have overdue reminders for that first level reviewer. So the first level reviewer can make decisions after their window. We do want to encourage and try to get to that 100% completion time. And so if they are overdue, we want to make sure we're reminding them every day so that they do get it done quickly to make sure that the second level reviewer has enough time before the campaign ends to review. So I'm going to go ahead and save. We'll see that now the remediation setting, it looks very similar. The big call out here is that this is all based on the final reviewer making a decision. So in this case, it's when that final reviewer approves access. So if we need both approvals, when that second level approval um, happens, this one for reviewer revokes access. So again, final reviewer, if the item is not moving to the second level and the first level revokes access, it'll stay with the first and we'll move. Otherwise, if the first level approves and it does move on to the second level, if the second level revokes, this applies. And then this applies when that final assigned reviewer does not respond. So whether it's lingering with the first level reviewer and doesn't get that explicit decision or it's lingering with the second level and doesn't get that decision. So now we'll update the campaign and then let's go ahead and launch it. So we'll start this campaign, our snapshots being taken. And I can come in, I can see the campaign, I have my settings available as well, and I see now all five items are in that first level of review assigned to the user's manager, which in this case is myself for all five. Now if I flip into my reviewer app 
and I refresh, I'll see those five items assigned to me. I can come in, I can look, I see Nathan's assigned, I'm going to approve his access. Same with tall, and I'll approve Comier's access as well. Now if I go back to the admin view to see what happened, I can refresh. I'm gonna see that now these items have moved on to that second level. There's multiple users assigned. When I click in for details, I'll see that their first level was myself. I approved access. The second level now is the group owners, which in this case is both Ted Lasso and Coach Beard. And we're still pending that decision from both of these stakeholders. So now if I flip in as Ted Lasso and I refresh, I'll see I have those three items assigned. I can see I'm only seeing items that were approved by the first level since that's what we had configured. I can come in, if I click, I can see the decisions that were made. So I see Anna Simmons had approved access. The justification would be here as well if left. And so I can come in here. I'm going to actually revoke Nathan's access. I know he doesn't need it anymore. I'm going to approve Tall's access and I'll approve Conmere's access. Now, if I flip back to our certification campaign, I can see the only items pending are those first level. All of them that had already made it to the second level are now closed. We have that final status. So Ted Lasso is the one that made the decision. He revoked Nathan's access. I see the decisions that were made by both first and second, as well as how that resulted in the final certification status. Similarly for Tall, we had approvals both myself and Todd Lasso approved our access, and so no action was taken. When I look now at, at the closed campaigns, so I go to the past campaign summary, I see a previous version of this campaign that's run. In this description, I see that it's multi-level. When I do that CSV export, I will get the columns that show me for each level what, what was configured. We've also introduced, you can see the explicit expressions that were written as well in that campaign summary. If I go back for the campaign details, <clears throat> you'll notice you will see the review items in the, the table as well. This will show the final review decision that was made, and when I export, I'll be able to see both levels. So when I look for one of my campaigns, I'll have to filter campaign name is... and I filter for this campaign. I can see Danny Rojas access. I see the final decision. So in this case, the campaign closed with myself assigned and no action was taken. When I export, I'll be able to see each level of reviewer, the decisions that they made and how that fed into that final certification status. We're really excited about this new feature and can't wait for you to try it out.